please welcome to our stage Carla Hayden and David Ferriero. Well, what's been really interesting uh, since I've been in the position of Librarian of Congress is the fact that people ask me, well, what does the National Archives do? What, what do you is, mean? What, the, what does that mean? What does the archivist do? You're the library in a Congress. And then this, uh, there's a confusion about the histories and the roles of each of the institutions. And I've learned a lot uh, in that, even about the tank coming up to Finally. reclaim uh, the Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, and was there a third? We call it the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> that were held by the Library of Congress and that type of thing. So could you Well, you got, you got an earlier start than we did. It wasn't until the 1930s that um, the United States got serious about its records. It was Franklin Roosevelt who was passionate about records that we actually uh, created the, he, he signed the legislation that created the National Archives. The archives was created to, um, cre uh, to collect and protect and make available the records of the United States government. So anything that was created by the government. So the question, the natural question is, what about the stuff that was created before 1934 when the legislation was signed? A lot of it is in our custody. Some of it is at the Library of Congress. Um, since the materials were stored in attics and basements all over town, a lot of it was lost through the fire and theft and flood. Um, but what we have now is um, a, a, d a dividing line between everything the government creates, and that's me, and everything they don't create, which is you. And sometimes I like to, and there are times when I'm glad you're you. <laughs> I've learned that. And there are times when I wish I were you. <laughs> <laughs> and I want all of the uh, people watching and listening to realize that the the joy of working with your colleagues, some that you've known. I've known um, David in his time at New York Public and all of that, is that you have this kind of friendly, kind of historical, whatever, competition. So when you and, talk about and some your, grudges still carry and grudges. some grudges. So when you talk about, uh, you know, and, and I know you've seen that movie, National Treasure. Yes. You've got all yes. these kids and they're doing it, but the Library of Congress has that first uh, printing that just had John Hancock on it. There and wouldn't have been that out. first printing if those original signers didn't sign something. See? And Which I have. And David Ferriol. <laughs> right, right. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. And the Gettysburg Address, you know, that he <laughs> took on the field. That's right. The contents of Abraham Lincoln's pockets the night he was assassinated. Right. I know. Four locks of Thomas Jefferson's hair. <laughs> Just saying. You know, so there, there is kind of fun to have this kind of historical uh, back and forth. But we do uh, have Hamilton's Oath of Allegiance signed at Valley Forge by George Washington. And we just digitized the last note to his wife, Eliza. Yeah. 